boys, episode 83. Put a line through it. Now, last week, we're missing a very beautiful man in Razor. Just like to shout out the Razor's Edge, Stephen Harney. What a fucking jet. Comes in, makes it all easy to understand. Gives us three tips. They're all scratched. <laughs> Win it. <laughs> we're, we're fucking champion. Oh, hey, what do you think, Tony? <laughs> Gives us three tips. Get on, boys. Uh, <laughs> unlucky, eh? Unlucky. Unlucky in love. I don't think he's very unlucky in love because he's married to the beautiful Rachel. Uh, Rach turns the big 4-0 today. We shouldn't say that, but uh, as we say in the uh, classic, she's a beautiful 21-year-old. Well done, Rays. You did well, mate, uh, last week, and uh, you are very lucky in love. Welcome, Tazzy. Thanks, mate. Great to be here. I'm going to um, try to be the good-looking one out of the, out of the three because I was relegated to number two last time last week. Oh, yes. With, um, with Steve, I mean, you know, I, I can't compete. I'm a nah. great body out of condition. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I'm yeah. back to being the number one good-looking bloke. Well, that's good. That's good to know that you're number one at something because I tell you what, Tone, back in the day when he was rolling up the yeah. fucking Cousins nightclub in Launceston at 22 years of age, no one stood a chance next to the great man, Tone. Is that right, big boy? I'm a legend. <laughs> oh, he's a legend, he says. <laughs> Now, we're having a beer today. Um, I've got a yes. fancy beer from Yamaguchi in IPA, but um, all the Aussies, uh, Tazzy, that you guys, if it's not... Oh, you got the old Geelong beer. Now, oh, big swinger. If there's not a snake or a spider or a fucking mosquito trying to kill you or an irigangi, holy <laughs> shit, if it's not a pandemic or a cough or a sniffle or a sniff, it's the fucking rain. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. Look, I'm in Melbourne, mm. and to be brutally honest, we haven't been affected at all. I mean, I think we're going to get a little bit of rain on Saturday. Right. But um, having travelled through those regions, specifically my sister used to live many, many years ago in, in Casino, mm. which is just 30K from Lismore, mm. and having driven those roads, just to see water at rooftop height, yeah. I, I can't comprehend it. Like, where does it come from yeah. and where does it go? Yeah. Um, and I feel for the people there because it's not the first time it's happened to them. It's probably yeah. not the last. But seriously, our government needs to do something about some infrastructure. Mm. Because what I can't understand is two days ago they said this was a one in 1,000 year event. Mm. Hang on. Did we have books back in 1,000 years ago? Hang on a tick. Did the Indigenous keep records? Mm. Because <laughs> were we around 1,000 years ago? Come on, guys. If you're going to tell stories, get them right. Well, but the event was terrible. The funny thing is, wasn't it in 2011 there were more floods than they said? Yeah. Once in 100 yeah. years. That, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got one in 100. Now we've got one in Within yeah. 10 years of each other, uh, yeah, something's amiss. I don't know, mate. But, uh, Tone, you know, you're used to a flood or two. Uh, usually money on a Saturday coming in. Oh, yeah, going out, yes. Um, well, we made on the Gold Coast told me earlier today, he said last week the Brisbane Dam was at 57%. Now, and uh, this week was 177%. So they've had to let her all go because they're worried about the dam, of course. You know, it's, yeah, right. uh, it's just too much rain. Yeah, it's 177%. Right. They've had to let her all go. Yeah. yeah, just go inland, Tone. If you go inland a bit, you've still got droughts. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we're, we're talking about infrastructure. We're talking about um, mm -hmm. employment. I mean, if they can build some bloody gas pipe to go from, I don't know, from Russia or, you know, somewhere there to Germany, mm. surely we can build some pipe to take some water from, from there out to the, um, to the dry lands. I don't know. Yeah. We've got to do something. It's terrible for those people. They yeah. dodge it. They have all dodged it over the, the years, haven't they? All the governments yeah. dodge it. Yeah, yeah the they farmers, do. And people will be wondering why, you know, like food, you know, supply and demand, why everything's going to cost the earth because, you know, the farmers have got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, things are going to cost money. You know, prices are going to go up. Bit sad, but my mate's end, you are um, an absolute top chick. Yeah, she uh, she had minutes to get out. Uh, she was near Ipswich and uh, yeah, usually they, they give you about 12 hours to get prepared, to get ready because you can sort of tell it's coming up, 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 up. But she had uh, minutes to, to get out and uh, she's just gone back and uh, there was water over her beds. So can you imagine the fucking oh, destruction? She got out with, her, with her basically, basically a bag with her you know, clothes on her back and 
she's gotten a lot of love from the community and, and a lot of friends. Who, of course, we're all trying to help her, but yeah, the old, I don't know, mate. It's just fucking. I, and I know people, you know, like we live in Japan, and, and where do they build tone? <laughs> the sides of mountains, don't they? they? Build, they build on the sides of a mountain here, and we, we live in fucking earthquake city and fucking landslide city. And you wonder yeah, why they all crazy. fucking die, you know, because they build on a fucking side of a mountain. But I, I, I can understand, like in Australia, like Lismore, as you said, people know in Lismore that it floods. So it's just fucking sad that, uh, yeah, once in a thousand years happens uh, 10 years apart. Well, well, I mean, on top of that, I mean, we've got those Russians over there having a little bit of a crack as well. Yeah. So yep. here we are, you know, we've just gone through a bloody pandemic. We're mm. coming out the other end worldwide. Yep. And now we've got World War Three on our doorstep. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about moving to the second safest place in the world. Oh, where's that? Fiji. Antarctica. Fiji. No, the Antarctica, <laughs> someone wants it. They all want to go stick their flags down there. But in Fiji, um, no one wants the coconuts. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get involved what? in wars. Fiji, um, American Samoa, Tonga, they're the places that I'm thinking about going. So, gents, if World War Three breaks out, mm. let's meet in one of those islands. <laughs> there we yeah, go. You know, and all we're trying to do is have a punt, and uh, it seems like the world has um, gone completely mad. And, um, oh. you know, it's not just uh, airstrikes and, you know, it's it, it's – in some it's everywhere uh, yeah the world's gone mental it's sort of like basically yep. tone's running the show now it's it's sort of like <laughs> i don't know it, it's, it's gone out of control but anyway back to the races here we go boys yes. we had race last week um this week we we move on to another great week of racing which should get us up and about a little bit we're not too sure is it going to go ahead in sydney well the internet says yes today not sure Tess. yeah the internet does say yes um, if the internet says yes, well, let's go with yes. I mean, I've, I've tipped over there, so I don't know. Let's let's just go with it. I'm hoping it does, but if it doesn't, I'm prepared. Right. So I am prepared. Right. And are you are you prepared? Yes. Um, Tony, are you prepared? Yeah, already, mate. Yes. No, We're all no prepared. Problem. No problem. We're all yeah, prepared. All set. We're in for a big week then. Weekend. Um, toes titanium tip, Jappery, an honest third toe, never gonna win. Uh, shocking ride, no good. This oh. horse has got nothing. It's a professional place getter, and I wouldn't oh. back it again with stolen money. It's done, it's finished. Shocking Not happy. Ride. It was Not actually happened. a good ride, though. Shocking, didn't win, ran third. Shocking <laughs> oh, yeah, ride. It was a shocking, <laughs> shocking result. Not a shocking <laughs> ride. Oh, they don't have it in between, oh. Taz. It oh, didn't geez, win. You, I, the jockey error, that's it. Third, shocking. Oh, the horse is a professional place getter. I wouldn't back it with bloody stolen money. No, no more. I would. Had enough. I'd back it with yeah, stolen money. Yeah, I'd back it with the stolen money that you stole, Peasant. I'm a scumbag. That's all right. <laughs> now, um, so actually, we should try to explain this a little bit. I always laugh when Tone says it's jockey error because it always is every week. I get the message straight after the race. Fucking jockey again. And I tell Taz, because I know Taz gets really, really upset and riled about it, because it wasn't a bad ride at all. And it was probably did well to hang on for third in the end. It was uh, under a bit of urgent riding, um, and then I hang on for third. But I love how Tony just straight away, yep, yeah, fucking jockey error. And then Taz gets all angry and upset. I yeah. love it. Pez, you know, Pez, you know how you say that? I, yeah. I feel for some of the jockeys, because... If any of them were watching our show, they seriously, their self esteem would be crushed listening to Tone. <laughs> I'm very fair. <laughs> if they win, <laughs> they win. <laughs> um, I thought we got a little bit of a smoke on Peace Officer, but it didn't run at all on the, on the heavy track. And that's the gamble you take with these two year olds, I suppose. Um, I wouldn't put a line through it, but uh, I'd definitely be waiting for it, for it to get on a good track. The Greek Freak uh, was abandoned up uh, north, of course, because of the uh, once in a thousand years uh, rains. And then you've gone, yeah. you've gone up and uh, you had a bit of a little bit of a taster in Sydney, mate. Running on a yeah, I went for. I found that Dan's a uh, dad's a dart, dude's a dart. Dad's a dart yeah. Look, admittedly, um, it was twenty to one like Thursday, and it 
it ended up jumping, I think, six to one. Its wet track form was good. Look, it, it wasn't a bad run. No. Um, it, it got on the outside, but then, I don't know, it was too late. It wasn't good enough. That's the bottom line. Probably needed to run. I was pretty happy with uh, my little tip in that race, uh, Le Bowl, the European first starter. At I think I got 18 skins the place. Yeah, no, um, I think it was called Surefire. So, oh, um, that, that was, um, um, yeah, that was, uh, we won't mention Voldemort's name in Mardo, but I think he did. Yeah, no, yeah, no look, he found it. But yeah. I guess that, uh, you know, look, that said, we've got two of the four and the first four paid heaps. Um, yeah. Anyway, it was what it was. It is what it is. We move yeah. on. That's all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the first four paid thirty grand. Marto's doing I mean. better at eighteen skins. You've got the fourth. I, I, I like the European first starter at eighteen skins. The place yeah, that, that Le Bowl Le or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah, and then Chrissy Lee's trained for second. I had two bets in the race, not yours or Marto's, and yep. um, we had the first four thirty thousand. Wow, we that was wow. amazing. Now, Tone, Marto was the only winner of his leg in, uh, what's it called? I forget the name, Winks, Black Caviar. What did he bet last week, was it? What was uh, the... Started my, with M, didn't it? Yeah. What's it called, Tazzy, the real shit horse? Oh, <laughs> the, um, the one that has won like six or seven in a row. That, yeah. That, norm that normally would be like a dollar eighty five. Yeah. That... that he did tip, but he thought that a away game would beat it because yes. of weights. Yep. Yeah, Marabi. Marabi. And uh, Razor, good. yeah, thanks very much. A nice little Quinella there tipped into us. Uh, Marabi into away game. I thought it paid a bit overs, actually. The Quin Quinella paid 11 skins. I was a bit surprised. Yeah, it was a good run. Both, yeah. both, it, was, it was pretty much exactly what happened the last time they, were, they met. Yep. The only difference was that the weights made no difference. Yeah. And as we again, we said thanks to Razor. Uh, he gave us a couple of tips. He was tip, tipped us one at Canberra on the Friday, scratched. Tipped us one in, uh, tipped us a couple in Otaki, and they were both scratched. And I think the one that he did give us um, uh, ran like a bastard. So well done, Razor. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Steve. Well yeah. done. Uh, you're welcome anytime. anytime Absolutely. Uh, because come back, uh, come back. Yeah, old Peacock himself, uh, uh, Tazzy, he needs to be brought down a bit with the hands and mistakes. <laughs> Because you've never seen a better looking man than uh, Stephen Harney. And, uh, or, you know, unless you're going back 102 years when fucking Tone was fucking building roads in Tasmania, the convict. But it was only for seven years, Tone, and then you got some land. Land. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. You were only, you only had that's to build funny. the roads and infrastructure in Tassie for seven years. Then you got a little bit of land, mate. Yeah. Back in the first fleet there, the <laughs> colonials. Yeah, the convicts. Only had to do hard time for seven years, Tone. Oh, yeah. I thought that, yeah. I thought Tone was actually um, the owner of Kings Island and all the um, all the craze that he'd been getting from there and stuff. Yeah, so well, that, that, that's uh, why you've got that's why he's got the red top on today, just like yeah, the crayfish. Yeah. All the craze. I pulled out the, the water. mutton birds. They well, were my favourite. The old mutton birds. Fuck. Eh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's how rich Tony is, everyone. Uh, he gets Wagyu from uh, King Island. He lives in Japan. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, how, yeah. That's, that's how rich he is. He goes, oh, fuck that. I'm not getting the, <laughs> getting the old grade five Wagyu from Japan. I'm going to go get it from my own neck of the woods in King Island, the big boy. Yeah, don't worry about that. But anyway, uh, let's get into it. Uh, Tazzy, are you ready to take us away? Um, I, I am actually, and I've, I've look, I've, I've got it covered. I'm going to Sydney, so when you're ready, I'll tell yep. you all about it. There we go. Because it is Baluchi Babe. Ooh. Now, before I go into things, I'm just going to say three names. Expat. Yes. Heather, what do you reckon of Expat as a horse? Jeez, that's a good horse. Fucking hell. What's it one? Six out of seven. Absolute perfect. Heart. What What do you reckon about Snap Dancer as a horse? Oh, there we go. Snap Dancer. Good horse. And what about Overpass? Another Kiwi sweet horse in Overpass. Very no. honest. Got a little bit of a letdown. Well, those three horses is exactly who this Bellucci babe has been running behind Ooh. in group races. Group two, group three, group two. Right. So six placings out of seven on Rain Affected going. J-Mac on board. Bellucci babe trained by oh. Bjorn Baker. So we've got the BBBB. 
It's race 10, number four, barrier six. We got the numbers 10 out of 10. Yep. Get on. Well, I reckon J Mac closes the card with a winner. I'm a big fan of the Kiwi Sweden the last because I've been trying to get that as a hashtag to go viral and uh, on the Beyond Baker uh, social media type uh, platform. I know. I, I, I hashtag the Kiwi Sweden the last and he. They've already hashtagged the Bjorn in the last. I'm like, nah, the Kiwi Sweep works better for us Aussies. So I like it, Tone. Yes, I do too. Big chance. I like Bjorn Baker. Jay Mack, well, when he's on key, he uh, he can get him home. Yeah, I think that, yeah. 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 Look at that. How good, how good was Jay Mack against Jamie the other week, Tone? I, I'm still having a little bit of a little hank about that. Oh, like, uh, J-Mac. Have you, yes. have you seen J-Mac? He just didn't want to get beat by Jay Carr. No, he, he, didn't. The bar. he didn't. Yeah. Oh. He, yeah. He, was, he was on the pump. You've never seen yeah. a man more desperate. It was, was fantastic. Was I loved it. And it was all uh, about bragging ones. But I've got one right. there just in case, that, yeah. just in case yeah. it does get scratched. Yes. If the meeting does get abandoned, I'm calling me Double Fister, so the, the first sub, it's in Wangaratta, race three, number 11, Sarah Kate. Don't know what price it is. Yeah, it's trained no, by no, Freeman. Yeah. Um, but but having said that, Bellucci Babe is the Fister. Take it to the bank. Get in the queue. And if you're not in the queue, it means the races are off, hopefully, and you're on Sarah Kate. Right. Or Sarah Kate. Sarah <laughs> Kate. That's it. I don't mind a horse at Wangaratta too, uh, a Kamani horse in, the low, in race eight. I think it's called Sign Sealed Delivered. And, uh, they, the stable gave a bit of a tip today after the last at Kitan. So I'm going to probably go surrogate into Sign Sealed, uh, the Kamani horse, and I think it's race eight, the top weight. Uh, I reckon well, it's a healthy little double. Well, this is a Friedman horse, just for the record yep. anyway. Yep. No, well, the Kamani horse is a Kamani horse. Yep. It's, it's who? Kamani. Matthew Kamani's got a horse called Sign Sealed delivered in the race eight number one. Trained by Matthew Kamani. There we go. Perfect. Right. Just what, so no who, one's... Who, who's on first, Pezza? Exactly. First? Just so no one's confused. <laughs> <laughs> a double. <laughs> a double. <laughs> a little Jack, double. So, Tone. That's race three <laughs> and race eight, correct? I fucking hope so now. <laughs> it's like playing Scrabble with you two. <laughs> oh, oh Tone, Tone. <laughs> oh yes, oh, I love Tone when he gets all critiquey. Yeah, oh. you know what, Tone? You know what? I, this is Tone for you. He, he knows French, hey Tone. He knows French. He knows two words in French. You know what they are? <laughs> Sausages and chips. You know why? <laughs> Because he reckons if he goes to a cafe, all he wants to do is order fucking sausages and chips. The beers are pretty much a fucking lay down mise. But he reckons, yeah, oh, yeah. And he reckons it's a language of love because when he orders sausages and chip town, he goes, saucisson fritti. So he's uh, like well, a he's, big pun, does he? Well, big boy. Yeah, like a big pun. I'm not into that wog food, big boy. Oh, uh, wog food, food sausages and stuff. chips. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would have thought he would have known three words. Oh, yes. We, we, we. Yes. Hey. No, he, he knows another word. Is. He knows another word too. It was uh, bison, which means kiss. Oh, uh, fuck hey. it. Au revoir. Au revoir. He's See you in later. hieroglyphics. Oh, oh God. Hey, yeah, he knows how to order fucking sausages and chips in just about every language, the, the big points. So well done. I know Thank one you. word, and I wish I could put one on YouTube, Prex, now. Oh. Avalanche. That's French. Oh, oh. oh. what are you thinking, trying to say, Tony? I don't know. I was thinking vandalism, but okay. Avalanche on YouTube, buddy. Snowed over. Oh. <laughs> no, mate, we're, we're, we're good uh, down. You're talking stairs, verbal people, diarrhea. Let's get to the races. Okay, sausages right. and chips. Here we go. Headquarters, St. Christ. We're getting away what? from Caulfield. Yeah, there, you fucking rabbit. Jeez, the, old, <laughs> the rail was a bit poisonous last week. It was rooted. Yes, well, our, our <clears throat> no, the rail was rooted last week at Caulfield. You didn't want to be anywhere near it. Oh, I think we were unlucky, mate. Jo mm. A lot of jockeys were riding poorly that day. I tell you what, I didn't mind Tone Sierra's rooting. 
Uh, at that day, Kaz. At 13 yeah. skins. Look, no? I, I, I did say... Kaz has uh, <laughs> had a bit of a fair crack at it. Don't worry about that. As soon as Taz put a line through it, I was on. I didn't put a line through it, okay? I, I know, it was, it was your fourth the, tip. It was your fourth tip. It was. Tip. I put it to the side. What yeah. I tried to do, yeah. okay, is I, I took a risk. It yeah. didn't pay off. No. But I did that for the team. 11-11. Because I knew that. Oh, don't talk about 11-11. Oh, Parry Sound, you be quiet too. Parry Sound. Don't talk about Parry Sound. That's worse. Uh, oh. yeah. I, all I know is I did it because the blokes following needed seven and eight selections. Yeah, that's okay, true. and they still couldn't get yeah, them. Still couldn't anyway. Get them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mardo, he was all over uh, that real shit horse. What's it called? Moab? Oh, I don't know. Some, Anybody some, can pick a favourite. Jeez, you know, like. Um, yeah. Anyway, the big news is we've we've, we've changed the order up. Mardo stays the third leg. Peza moves from the last, the wanker. He, he's now the first leg, so we're a chance, ladies and gentlemen. Taz has moved to the second leg, and we've got the greatest wanker of all time, <laughs> as in anchor, as in winner, as in little Hank, as in <laughs> little Hank, 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 as in. Masturbators, uh, as in, geez, that sounded a bit strange. Masturbators, in, is that a bit American? It is. But, Tone, you're, you're back in your rightful position last, mate. Yeah, in the worst race of the day. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. It's a oh, shocker. Oh. Anyway. Don't worry, Captain. Anyway, we've got uh, Pizza. We've got numbers one, six, and ten. Now, originally, I had the one and six because I love Corner Pocket. I love myself a Lindsay Smith. What's in those dunes type horse? And this thing, fair income. If you had this in your back pocket, you'd win some money because it always puts itself in the position to win a race, Tony. It always puts itself in the right position, Tony. Exactly, yes, yes. Not like a lot of the uh, other hoops who aren't putting them in the right position. Thank you. He's always a couple yeah. back and he just peels out and he just gets there on the line. He's a really good horse. Uh, and, of course, you've got to throw in the Annabel Nation, the big star, Zaki. You never know how this is going to go. I haven't seen a trial, actually, because she hasn't been really trialing in front of everyone. But with the Nation, the class horse of the field, this was the favourite for the, the Cox Plate. Um, yeah. First up, just on class alone, it starts at even money. And then yeah. I've thrown in inspirational girl, Taz, because uh, you're about to have a crack at me. I was, because... Um... I had a good look at it. Originally, you said one and six, and I had a look. Yeah. And the two that I thought you left out that I thought I was going to have a crack was um, Bright Side and Inspirational yep. Girl. Inspir both of these, the way they finished their races last week or two weeks was huge. Yes. Inspirational Girl, I think, ran the fastest 200, yep. uh, closing 200. Yep. And Bright Side, when it got clear, oh, my goodness. But um, you put one in, and I'm going to go the treason and probably throw the other one in anyway. But, oh, are you going to throw in uh, the pensioner on Mr. Brightside? No, you can't put in cancerous. No, you can't put in cancerous, mate. Because you if can't. you put in cancerous and it wins, well, you're in big strife. I'll, I'll I told you, you it's treason. I'll tell you one thing, Tone. Mr. Brightside in the Country Cup on a Sunday, get in the queue. I don't think yeah. – I, I think it won six in a row. On a yeah, Saturday, yeah. it hasn't won yet. So I don't know if it's – I don't know it if was, it's up to these – I don't know. I think it's I, maybe that level down. I think it, it's no good on a Saturday in a group race. I don't think uh, it, it, it hasn't won one yet. It, it's look, won a ben to, Bendigo Cup on a Sunday. Yeah. Pe it's won a Peza, to be honest. Yeah. Peza, to be honest, after the event, we're probably all going to come back and say, why didn't you just go one out, Zaki? Mm. Exactly. It's probably what we're all going to come back and say. But I think Inspirational Girl, just because, as you said, a typical Victorian yeah. shitty one race, it's muddling. Yeah. Um, you, yeah. put, you put a line through just about everything because, uh, you know, yes. how can you take form or, or you know. And anyway, yeah. I thought Inspirational Girl, looking back on the race, she was massive and I think she's going to get over the top. If Zaki has a bit of an off day, hasn't come back as well. And Corner Pocket's going to be... It's going to look like the winner with about 100 to go. So let's cover And what about your favourite horse ever? One of your favourite horses ever in this race. Yeah, no, nah, I'll put a line through Pondus. Yeah, you know it. it. I'll put a line through all Robert Hickbond horses first up. They just can't win. 
Uh, Tassie, you've got numbers one, two, three, four, and nine. All right, I have. Really um, tough race. The, the, look, Ooh. the Derby winner, have to put yeah. it in only because if history is made, I want to be a part of it because yep. no horse has won this race first up. And the way that it was going last year. So got to be a part of the history making. Yes. Cut, Captiva, I think um, it's two runs in have been quite good. It's probably now getting up to a more suitable distance, 1,600. Mm. Um, it's got a bit of a fitness edge there. So throw yep. it in. Yep. Profondo is the quiet achiever because I reckon this horse has gone under the radar, this preparation. Mm. Um, the way that it was racing last prep, this, mm. this is untapped. Yes. But because we're all talking fangirl and Espiona and blah, 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 mm. not the actual blah, blah, blah horse, mm. um, we've forgotten about Profondo. Mm. So throw it in. Yep. Forgot you. 1,600 suited. First up was a great run. Um, get out the back, worked home. And the untapped one, mm. um, Pinstripe, looks like the 1,600 and shouldn't be a problem the way that it finished up. Mm. The question still is, does it now go that next step? But again, can't risk it. Yep. Yeah. The this, one. Is, this is one of my, this is, this race to me is going to determine a lot of racing in the next few weeks for the autumn cattle. Because you think about it, if Profondo brains them, what can it not win next? Yeah, that's well, right. It'll win everything. Um, yeah. Because as you said, over it got over what the 22, the, um, the last race of uh, Sydney's uh, spring car, it was, a, it was a massive run. Huge. It, uh, was, it wasn't going to win. Yeah. And it absolutely let down and, and you think, well, that's, yeah. that's the $1 million cult that it is. And, yeah. you know, Forgot You was huge up against the older horses. Uh, first up, massive. He taught to, that looked like it could be anything after winning the derby. You know. Oh, it, one, one, of the, one of the best winning derbies we've seen. Yes. And then you just don't know with Captain mm, yeah. because it's rock hard. Pinstripe yep. is on tap. Yeah, I reckon you've got it. And I'll tell you what, there's a horse in this race that I'm on at 81 skins, and that's Allegron. Which um, one? Oh, another one of yours, yeah. <laughs> Which one? Where, where have you thrown money? Uh, talking about the forgotten horses, Allegron yes, ran second yes. to Hitotsu. It did. In the yeah, dark. That was a and, big run. And first up, again, it was in the inferior part of the track. It didn't look, it looked pretty plain to the eye, but it was never going to win. It was just never going to win. And I can't believe that it's opened up at 70 skins, all right? I got 81 bucks. So I think a horse that's ran second to a Totsu and it's ran second, third to Profondo, I, I can't believe the price. I, I really can't. Oliver on for Cummings. It smells a bit off to me. I know it's gonna. It needs more ground. It, it needs to probably getting up to your two thousand meter. But geez, I reckon it was never gonna win first up because it was in the wrong part of the track, and it was really plain to the eye. So I reckon it might be a little sneaky little placer anyway, mate. But uh, I don't know if it's gonna it win. But it doesn't have to win at those odds, does no. it? No, 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 no. no. Uh, barrier three, Damien can do whatever he wants. So I don't know. I reckon that's a little, a little sneaky there at uh, the huge price. But uh, it's a massive I reckon you price, got it, mate. mate. I reckon you got it. Well done. Yeah, I hope so. I reckon. I reckon even even you know with those five boxing them up in a try in the first four. I reckon yep. I'm, that's the way I'm going to go in this race. Marto, uh, we won't mention him. Uh, the Baltimore of our channel two, four, eight, nine, and twelve. I think he's got it. Sort of market. Right. Um, he's pretty keen on the eight, on, uh, on the Intha. He's really keen on the eight, to tell you the truth. So, and around the eight skins, I think it's all right. He might have missed out the market mover in Maleva, but it's a tough race again. It's a tough race. Um, Malkovich. It's going to be a question. Well, no, it's, it's a question. Do you, do you reckon it'll be? A leaders track, or do you reckon they'll be coming from behind? Because oh, I like think they're going to be. I think they're going to be chase. I think they're going to be coming from behind. I think at headquarters, I think they're going to give our, all your back markers a chance this week. To tell you the truth, I think they're going to be running on a bit um, because we're looking at a good four again. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, you're going to have a chance, and it, of course Flemington. So, but I think. We're going to see. I don't know about Malkovich. I know Joshy Parr's come down from Sydney to ride it. 
um, which might be the key. Will it steal or not? Will it get a breather mid-race to win? I don't know. This is a bit easier than what it's been racing against. So, anyway, Brooklyn yeah, Hustle is always exciting to see first up. Jamie Carr on board. It's a good race. It is a good race. There's a double, um, like that for two is um, nominated in Sydney as well. So I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if there's a scratching. Yep. Um, I know all banters in this, and I know you talk about Malkovich possibly leading, mm. but I just wonder whether if those two go head to head, yeah, um, will it set it up for something to come from behind? I think uh, it will. I think it will. It's a, it's a good race, though. Yeah, it's a good race. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind it's me down the bottom there, uh, driving in the off and of coming on. It's, it's probably... Why not? Anyway, uh, we get into Tone, the last league, 10, 11, 12, 13. Straight down the line there, Tone. Yes. It's a, it's a tough little race to finish up up on. Uh, the pressure's right on. you um, got to throw in the favourite, Yance, Johnny Allen, on top, one of Eustace's horses, you know. Those, Jesus, those, you know. Silks, those silks are winning everything. Yeah, well, look, at it's got the uh, the picket fence there, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. it's all there. Yeah. Kitotsu uh, and uh, Forgot You Colours. Yeah. Uh, they're winning it all, Tone. Yeah, Mazawa, you know, Savannah Cloud and Unique Artist. I like Jamie Carr's ride in this. Stokes in the last, coming out of Taz's number. Oh, no, it's yours. Mm. Barrier 11. There you know, we there we go, number 11. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I think, it's, yeah, it's a really tough race. Um, 30 skins will get what you 10%. You, you can go a little bit, you know, you can go a bit shorter if you wanted to. You could probably go Zaki one out in the first because you'd think that Zaki, yeah. if it's come back at all, would have the cover of them. But you just never know with those uh, progressive type horses uh, in corner pocket. You just never know because they haven't raced against the quality of a Zaki yet. Um, I think Taz has got it on, on board in the second. Mardo looks like he's got it about market route in third. And Tone, I think there's not too many that could come out and uh, beat you except for maybe the top of your... Uh, I've got to throw the yeah. Kiwi Sweet in the last in old Mudgee for Joshi Pa. But you just never yeah. know. I really I really like that you put in the um, the 11 Tone. The way that it won over in Adelaide, um, mm -hmm. it was super impressive and he's, yep. he's brought it straight back here. I reckon it's got, um, it's got bigger bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I do like it a lot. Geez, I like the way it let down in uh, Adelaide because it just fucking put links on now it. Yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. So, and it only went over for a smash and grab. That's all. Yep. It just went yep. over, won yep. the race, and then come straight back. Yep. Um, so we're getting into the, the, I don't know, what do we call this? The titanium tip time, uh, Tone. Now, titanium August tip. the 4th from May. It's been a while for you, mate. Uh, I think it was the start of yeah. December, but. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have one tip on a Saturday. So we're basically 50-50. We either win or we lose. So don't, don't hate us too much. You know, we're not... We're trying. We're trying. We're not magical Mardo throwing out 18 <laughs> tips going, oh, yeah, my last tip winner was last week. We're throwing out one. And if you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. Like, we're 50-50 time. That's it. That's it. It's like tossing a coin, Come big boy. <laughs> It's two up. It's yeah, heads or tails. It <laughs> that's it. No, Barney, Barney's Absolutely. been giving me a bit of shit on the mess. He's going, oh, fuck, it's been a while, Pez. I'm like, fuck, we only get one chance. <laughs> um, you know, you either win or you lose. And then and then he goes, oh, what about turns? I'm like, oh, fuck, Pez. What are you kidding? <laughs> you know, like, no, no, don't be like that. Come oh. on, fellas, eat. I eat. I'm giving you a chance. Because I ran the course the last week. week. You know, All the, right? The no, 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 no. No, no. Let, let's be fair. I mean, if mine aren't winning, they're still weighing in. And, you know, they normally weigh in up to fifth. So let's be fair. <laughs> um, all right, here we go, Tony. You ready, big boy? Let's try here to sell go. it uh, to our beautiful Palti Pirates, Phil Familiar, the Profiteers, the Punces. I don't know what we call you, but here we go, big boy. Let's see what you've got. Um the good news is you're probably – you're still in Adelaide, I presume, so you've steered away from tipping in the heavy 10 in Sydney. All right, Absolutely. here we go. Because we know you put a line through Melbourne. Yeah, yes. no, it doesn't bet there. There are too, doesn't many, bet. too many crooks. Too many crooks. Too many crooks. Flemington, race three, number three. There we go. 
There are reasons. There are reasons because of the uh, the weather around the country for a start. They're all crooks in uh, up yeah. there in Sydney. Uh, Adelaide just isn't doing the right thing. And I'm not going to back flow meter this week, though. I hope the old fella gets up again and wins another one. Go, but Flowey. I've, I've gone back to Melbourne because it's the big track and even all the thieves, all the thieves and criminals who should be in manacles, you know, not not all of them can pull all these horses up oh, in one race. Beach is a new mother. Look, she's a lovely lady. I think that she's as honest as the day is long. I hope she is. Race okay. number three, Imperial Lad, come to Japan. You have enough money after you get on Linda uh, at uh, 12 skins. Absolutely. Perfect. The three, 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 three on March three. the third, big boy. That's it. There we go. The threes. I like it. March yep. the third, we're going to put this video out. The third of the third. And uh, big boy, you're from Barrier three, just hope, Number three, race right. three. Race three, number three, Tone. I just hope it doesn't run third. <laughs> well, he's been good at the right. last two weeks. He's been good. Anyway, well done, no, mate. Know. I like it. First up, why not? Hopefully the peach. There we go. The, the big little tracks, the Linda Meach will give you a bit of a little sweetheart. And, uh, I reckon it'll be trying because I think Imperial that tries. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, Pez has found one. Uh, now, hang on, oh, Pez. Before oh, you shit. put yours up. Oh, geez. Before you put yours up, oh. I just want to say something about Tone. Tone, oh. I know. Okay, there's a lot of two-year-olds running around and you could have gone to those types of races where no exposed form is available. I know you normally bet in South Australia and you moved out, but at least what you've done is you've looked at a horse that's got exposed form, it's had a few preparations, maybe a couple of trials, something, something to give you an idea about why you're going to back it. Okay, Pezza, what do you got for it, mate? Oh, this seems like a bit of a setup. This sounds like a bit what of a got? setup there, Tone. Hey, <laughs> this sounds like a bit of a setup, big boy. Oh, oh, he's just uh, said exposed uh, form. Uh, you know, you've got a reason to back it. Oh, <laughs> Tony, this sounds like a bit of a setup. Oh. Oh, of course we ran out of time again because old Tony just can't shut him up today. Surprise baby, surprise baby, Tony. Okay? <laughs> anyway, surprise, baby. But mate, just tell us one, 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 one more reason again. Why are you back in Melbourne? You put a line through Fleming. You put a line through Victorian Racing well, a good three months ago. You know, normally, you know, the races in, in Melbourne and on the other tracks are run like, you know, dodge them cars at Luna Park. But on the big track, at least you can get a run. You've got a chance. Okay. All the criminals do not, you know, you've got a chance. If you get out there, All the criminals. Get the space, and you've got a good steed under you and the jockey can count and sitting in the right spot and doesn't park it down the back over there near Pump Bucket Road, well, you've got a chance of actually winning a race, you know. So yeah. um, that's why I've gone back to the big track. I've got a good strike right there. There you go. No, I, I reckon you're right, Tone. I agree with you. I mean, you could have, you know what you could have done? You could have backed the maiden. You could have backed something that's had no form. That's all, you know, a first starter. Could you imagine backing a first starter or a horse that you don't know whether it's going to jump or whether it's going to sit or whether it's going to, you know, Come pick root? You don't even know. You've done well, Tone. <laughs> we can but try. It's, it's, it's all been, about you, mate. It's been so long since I've tipped the winner. I've done a bit of homework this week and I've Ooh. gone back to my roots, which was why I was Ooh. a trial-based tipster. I love watching Ooh. trials. I love seeing the dodginess of uh, certain trainers who are running them around for a bit of fitness and they're not giving them a letdown. But I know there's one honest man in Sydney uh, and it's Johnny Hawks and he's got one, boys. And uh, <laughs> He's honest, is he? Well, oh I wouldn't say God. Wayne is or Michael, but I, I, I love I love Mick York's uh, saying, Tony, he had a second placer at Geelong and uh, it came second right. And he goes, if the winner wasn't in a race, we would have won. But <laughs> I love that philosophy. I think I used that last week oh, as well. Beautiful. I've got one, boys. Cannon, race one, number five from Barrier 8, my favourite barrier. Joy McNeil, the best jockey guard around in Victoria. Don't worry about Jamie straight to the bar, Malam Zara Carr. <laughs> Nicky Hawks, this horse is out of uh, 
I don't know what it is, but it's really good horse. And uh, it's been trialed in Sydney. It had a trial last year. Absolutely yeah. ran busted like fourth. And it was green as all grass. And I black booked it already, Tone, from its jump out last year in November. And then it's jumped out again in February 21st. Head in the air. Hating life. And then finally it settled and it ran home for third. Now, if you iron out those kinks, you cannot unmatch talent. And you know what talent equals tone is green. And this horse is green. And I love the fact that we brought it from Sydney to Melbourne to steal some money with the best jock on. Cannon, actually, I got a tip for another horse um, crystallized in this race at one and a half million dollars. But anyway... <laughs> There's a really good horse down the bottom. Really tried really well in Jamie Carr with Wee Nessie. The top, he's got exposed form. Don't care. The cannon is going to go bang. Fezza, I hope the cannon goes bang. <laughs> but, but, what happens if it misses the kick? Well, it's going to fight. What happens it's gonna if fight. it throws its head around? It's going to fight. You know, I mean... It, I would have probably, I, I've got this gut feeling inside me that if you hadn't backed or, or, you know, predicted that this horse would win, at the end of this race, you'd be black booking it because it would have missed the kick, thrown its head around and stormed home. So I reckon you're, you're ahead of the game. No, well, I've got to get away from the second starters, Tone. I've got to get away. That's, that's yes, a problem of mine. Yes, it's absolutely. an addiction. And it's had a written tycoon. Obviously, it's worth a half a million bucks. It doesn't matter about that at the end of the day. I think it's green. I love horses that are green because they've got talent and ability. And, of course, with the Hawks Polish, who don't mind a winner first up, I think we might be stealing a little bit of money because you just don't know, Tony. It might just explode out of a cannon. The price is there. Price is there. What Absolutely. price is at the place, Pezza? Do you know? Um, is it three to one, four to one to place? Yeah, it'd have to be three sixty something, wouldn't it? What be was that? Because what I what I might do <laughs> is because I also like a little bit of a um three thirty unraised horse. Three thirty. So maybe I'll take it the place and make grease the word in Sydney. Ah, uh, race two in Sydney. Uh, un unraced grease. The blue battlers. Blue battlers. Yeah, only cost them I think about a one and a half mil. Right. It's related to, um, is it something Gabby? Um, uh, loving Gabby. Loving, loving Gabby. It's only related. So maybe. Yeah. Ma maybe Eustace. I, um, Ma I Eustace that. are not real good. No, that, no, that, no, 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 they don't get good horses. The no, best, definitely the best, not. I, best, better eyebrows than Tony, old uh, David Eustace. Don't worry about that. He, uh, he's a beautiful man. <laughs> I could stare into those eyebrows all night, Tony. <laughs> You can always uh, top up there, the second in uh, Murray Bridge, have a little bit on Lockdown Sally. Lockdown Sally, yeah, if you ran on a COVID up. bet. Yeah. I'll tell you what, big and a little bit of a sneaky, the horses, T H E are starting to win the last week or two. Um, they had two win last Saturday. The oh. horses now on, sun, on Sandown on Sunday, on Wednesday. I think that whatever won by, right. I think it was a 38 bucker. So uh, at any price, if you see a horse with that, I wouldn't mind. There's actually is one. There. I think there's one in Adelaide. Mm. And I think it's called The Difference. The Difference, Ooh, yeah. That's, not a, bad that's horse, a tough right? race. That's a tough race. Yep. I but think it's you, race. If we're talking race about omens and we're going for that, it mm. could be that difference. The cannon. Between winning and losing. Yeah. <laughs> a, mate, a mate of mine sent me through a tip today. He's like, crystallise, get on, boys, or part owner. It's one of those... It's one of those horses that, you know, you buy into, you know, you spend yeah. a couple hundred bucks and you get a share and all these right, really good horses, like about, you know, 0 0.001. But anyway, he's like, get on crystallized boys, one and a half mil, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, geez, the cannon's coming down from Sydney. I, I don't think I can get off the cannon. But <laughs> we've got a couple. There's a couple of sneakies over in Adelaide if you if you can. Um, uh, I really like um, the Leo McDonald horses at the moment. I think they're flying. Um, What's that? Another award in race six? Yeah, it's a tough race. Tough race. It's a, and I it's like, a tough race. I, I like the Tassie Silks in uh, race eight. Uh, deep Strike. Deep Strike? 
Yeah, that's the one. Price is taking it over there. Yeah. Yep. Talking about strikes with the Ukraine and the Russian conquest. I think there's a horse called Russian conquest as well. There's a lot of yeah, moments. It's, it's, in, it's yeah. in Greece's race. In Greece's race. It's so, interesting. Um, there's it's a lot of horses. A, it's a good racing day. I mean, you know, taking into effect how bad the weather's been, yep. um, the actually quality of the racing mm. is still quite good. I mean, I, I've even oh. looked up at um up at Doombin and stuff and and um yeah. My explosive quality's going around. I mean, Profit's going around. I reckon Profit gets beaten this week. I reckon Smart Meteor probably beats it. Really? Um, yeah, it's got it's got to turn the weights. And the last time they met, um, well, the last time Smart Meteor won was on a on a bog on a heavy track. So I think Profit's won. It's two. It's time to um to let someone else win. Wow. But um, there's some good there's some good racing. And I asked you about a jockey. Yep. What was her name? When, was it Wendy Peel? Was it her Wendy name? Wendy Peel, yeah, she goes all right. Yeah, so she's riding one that I sort of had a look at. It's got some good wet form. I think it's called Stuttering or something. Yeah. Stuttering, I think it was. Yeah, but, yeah um, it's honest. It always comes, it always lets down. It always comes yeah, home. It's a, it's a, it's a, I like, I like stuttering. I like stuttering at like a, you know, if you're at the Gold Coast or if you're at uh, Sunny Coast or it, it well, sort of gets in that regional track, it goes all right. But I think our candidate is a, another one, race four, number three at uh, Brizzy this week. Uh, it's a mudlarker. It's a, it's a wet tracker. Um, only got beaten ahead. Uh, absolutely flies in the wet. You're getting 750. Um, coming up from Sydney to steal race four, number three, our candidate, for Chrissy Lees. I think that wins too. So there's a heat. There's good racing tone. Tell what us, a um, sentimental coin on your horse, Taz. The old meter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, meter. What a rain. What a rain. Seriously. Oh, meter. He could, you know, flash down the outside and get up and win by a lip <laughs> or run last. So, yeah. Flow meter's had 403 starts. It's won 20 <laughs> times, right? And not yeah. once have I been on it when it's won. So, forget it. <laughs> if not, if Flow meter wins, okay, uh, uh, I'll do this show next week blindfolded. There we go. Um, <laughs> Not it's only scared, it's only start one hundred and eighty nine this week. Um, Ooh, what a horse! Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. So I reckon the Mickey Price uh, Deep Strike. They're going over still a bit of money in Flow Meters race, but uh, I tell you what, you wouldn't you wouldn't be uh, not surprised to not have a little bit of a place bet on it because you know it's always going to try. He yeah. loves to run around, Absolutely. doesn't he, the old Flow Meter? Yeah, yeah. A bit like yeah. you back in the day at the Cousins Nightclub in Lonnie. Big boy, <laughs> peacocking about a bit. Uh, Tone, <laughs> next week when we're back on the show, can you bring your gold medallion for cousins? Because you know when you're you're a member and stuff, you've got a medallion oh, so that you show the bouncers and you say, "Here, I'm here, yeah, member here," the and they That's let you the in. Third table or the pancake parlor or something. It's a different place. <laughs> hey, mate. All those well, the Greeks used to go with the hairy chests and the shirts and the buttons oh, and the moustaches. All you those know. all those uh, suits you used to wear back in the day, big boy with the big V. You know, with the old chest out. It's all coming back into fashion, big man. Grow a beard, go get yourself a latte and go to Tazworld in Melbourne. You'll be fucking smiling. Mm -hmm. We have to look at the girls walking around here. They're wearing flares and they've been wearing platform shoes. That's what's back in fashion. There 70s. 70s. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, ballroom Blitz. Good song, huh? Yeah. Absolutely. The sweet. Wow. There you go. I'll put one up for you today on the uh, little... Uh, I uh, put a little taster up there for our uh, Alti perusers. Oh, we, we, I love it. I, what I song? love a walk down memory lane. What song? Oh, no, oh the song's dedicated to you and I this week, not Taz. Yeah, yeah, you and I. Yeah. Under pressure. Yes. Oh. Under pressure. We're under How's it pressure. Go? It dun, 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 Taz, you've got, uh, you've got it down key, mate. You've got it down key. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I so, think, yeah. So I what think... do you reckon? Do we um when do we um get the uh the Palti Pirate Perusa profiteer in? Do you reckon it's um a week away? Because we haven't hit a quaddy, but one person continues to hit his leg. So I don't know. Jeez, I tell you, they're they're sitting at home watching the show on their edge of their seats, aren't they? Really? They're just waiting. Yeah, well, I've got a couple of people in mind. Uh, not Barney. 
And um, we just hope that Marto loses. But then again, if Marto loses, that means that we are out of the quaddy. But uh, I'm pretty confident this week. I, I know I'm always talk us up a bit. We're always a bit up and about and a bit hard. Like uh, Tones yeah. had a bit of a little hank. But I, I reckon... I reckon we got it. I reckon we got it covered this week, but uh, just hope for a little yeah. bit of value. Um, and, this way. and you know how we're talking about the third of the third? Yes. It's actually Woodsy's birthday today. Woodsy! Yeah. So, um, Happy birthday, Woodsy. He, yeah, he's not quite, um, he's not quite 50 plus GST, oh. um, but he's, um, he's a good vintage. Yep. And like a good um, good bottle of red, I'm sure he's maturing perfectly well. So happy birthday, Woodsy. And Ooh. to the people affected by the floods, we're, we're really sad. And a um, bit of a shout out to one of our favourite uh, ladies of the group in Rose. Yes. She's doing it a bit tough, Tone. And we're waiting yes. for a message, Rose. Tone, yes. send you a message and uh, we'd love to know how you're going. Um, yeah. So if you do feel okay, babe, we'd love you to send us a message and let us know because we are thinking about you. And I know Rosie likes a little bit of a zinger at the end, so I've got one for her. What is it? Oh, just to make... A horse sits down in the movie theatre tone, what? and the lady next to the horse says, excuse me, are you a horse? The horse says, well, yes, I am. The lady says to the horse, what are you doing at this movie? The horse says, I really like the book. No. No. Brought behind. Yeah. No. Sorry. Don't forget to keep up. Yeah. No. Look, you've you've done well, Pezzy. You've tried. Thank you. Thank you. Tried. Right. Um, no good. Seriously. Do you reckon you could edit that? <laughs> no good. <laughs> Tony, no. No. The horse of the movies. The lady says, "Why are you here?" And I like the book. The horse is talking, Tony. Yes. And it's watching a movie. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. Senior moments. Anyway, <laughs> good on you, Rose. We're thinking about you. Absolutely crap. That's... <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit. Oh. Cut that. We'll cut that. No, you right, don't. Leave that on. No, we'll leave it on. No, we, uh, we love it. it. All right. Yep. Uh, good on you, Rose, and uh, let's uh, enjoy uh, the day. And uh, Pez's Pickers will be back next week. There'll be a bet thread on Sunday. The UK Warriors will be uh, looking to revenge last night's disappointment. And uh, we totally agree. Uh, as we said, we are like a, a, a fine wine. We are. Yeah. We are. Uh, we don't like to lose either, do we, uh, Taz? It's a good vintage. No, no one, li no one likes losing. But no. we, you know what? We might occasionally lose, but what we definitely aren't is losers. So we're all winners on this page. We're all winners yes. on this show. We're all winners full stop. But occasionally we do lose. Yes. Yes. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. I like it. So, mm. You do? Now, before you do, if you like it anymore, I'm just going to say before we go, if we're talking about losers, Right. Um, the footy season's starting soon, Pezza. Have you got the tissues? Have you organised oh. them all? Hey? What do you mean? An 88-point uh, loss in our first practice match without a midfield, I think is okay against the reigning premiers. And to tell you the, the truth, um, <laughs> we, were beaten, uh, we were beaten by 106 in our first practice match uh, last year. So we've actually three goals improved. So I, You know what I... You know what I love, Pezza, about this? I only got to say North Melbourne and say losers and you get so serious and you start, like, it, seriously, you, you, you come you, you're, you're better than ScoMo. The way that you deliver, okay, what you're oh. saying, you're, you're trying to get the people to believe. Oh. I don't know if it's to get the people to believe or for yourself to believe, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'll organise some tissues. I'll send them up if you need to. What sort do you want? Do you want Kleenex? Do you want black and white home brand? Whatever you want, I'll organise them, okay? And I'll even send a pack. Maybe I'll send four packs a month. It'll keep you covered for four, four Saturdays or four weekends. <laughs> you okay with that? Tone. Or are you crying? I'm crying. Tone. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get Tone to understand a joke because it's good exercise for the old bloke's brain. Tone. Well, a, a horse walks into a bar. 
<laughs> the bartender the says, the horse walks into a bar tone. The bartender says, hey, the horse says, you read my mind. Ah, I got that one. Hey, <laughs> there we go, big boy. There we, we go, got I got there. that one. We got there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's All it. right. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's enough. And uh, thanks, Tazzy. And we've got a couple of North supporters in here, Taz. Be careful. That's uh, <laughs> right. There's not I, many I, I of us. I welcome them onto the show when they come on. There's not many of us, but we're vocal. You know, there's That's not many right. of us. Lenny, I'll send the fault. tissues to them as well. Yeah. All right, mate. See you guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.